Now then, you keep on running away. Number 36 from the top 100. The fabulous Fire Tops from Wayne, the lively one. Anytime, day or night, here Weems, lively line up top 10. And the Wayne team's hot prospects. Simply dial 534-9099. That's 534-9099. Oh, I've got rhythm, let me take it. Number 35 as we count down the top 100. And we're in that magic circle of 35. Now, we'll be counting them down right up until 7 o'clock. We'll have that top 10 somewhere between, oh, you know, like 6 o'clock, 6.15 and 6.30. Right up until 7 o'clock. And then you'll hear the top 10 tunes of 1967. Don't you dare miss it. <laughs> Some Beatle pictures to be given away. You want to hang on in there for that? Chain of Fools, Aretha Franklin. Chain, chain, chain. Chain of Fools, 18 before four o'clock. That's from the current Wee Lively lineup. Number five here for you. Other sides of the Super Supremes now. This is number 34 from the top 100 countdown. Reflections. <laughs> Diana Rice with all the Super Supremes, number 34 from the top 100 of 67. W-E-A-M's weather check, go, go! Ladies weather for Greater Washington, mostly sunny but cold today with a high in the lower 30s, bare and uh, colder with a low 15 to 20 degrees tonight. Tuesday cloudy with a chance of some snow. Right now it's 23, wing degrees. Love me two times, would you please? The doors. <laughs> But two times the doors every 16 from the current survey. Metapony Winter Park is where the action is. A perfect place for beginning skiers and great practice for advanced ski buffs. Metapony has everything for a fabulous day of skiing. There are two great slopes, a vertical drop, rope toes, equipment for rent, and lots and lots of snow. All this for just $3 for adults, $2 for children. Metapony Winter Park is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. And they're located just 18 miles east of Washington on Maryland Route 382. Don't miss out on the fun this winter at Washington's nearest ski slopes. Metapony Winter Park. Park in Groom, Maryland. For information about ski lessons and skating, call them at 338-3828. That's 338-3828. Over Alabama by a score of 13 to 10 at the uh, halftime. At the Sugar Bowl, halftime, Wyoming 13, Louisiana State, nothing. Happy birthday to Kevin Kerrigan today, Bernadette Orton. All right, number 33 from the top 100 of 1967. I sure sound great, don't they? And as I said before, we'll be going right down to the number one sound, which should be somewhere around 7 o'clock or so in that vicinity. And we'll be hitting that magic circle of top 10 between 6.15, 6.30, somewhere right in around there. From the Wayne Community Bulletin Board, the Fairfax County Cultural Association will sponsor an international film series beginning January the 16th. The series features eight prize-winning films from eight countries, and tickets will be sold by subscription only and may be reserved by calling 532-0304. That's 532-0304. <laughs> Shaping anywhere that you want to. Number three from the Wayne Live Lulana. The American Breed Ben is shaping anywhere that you want to. It's five in front of four o'clock, 24 degrees, mostly sunny, but cold today. Unemployed men who have earned $10,000 or more a year, you may find an executive job through 40 Plus of Washington, a nonprofit cooperative association. For an appointment, call 638-2125 between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Offices are located at 810 18th Street Northwest in downtown Washington. Phone 638-2125. Fun vibration. 
This is Arthur Cantley. He's going to tell you all about it. Hit it. That's number 32 of Out of the Top 100. Here's number 31, the Royal Guardsman. It was Johnny Rowe on a New Year's Day on WEAM, Arlington, Virginia. Three Dimension News, concise and complete. Good afternoon, it's 23 degrees at 4 o'clock. President Johnson held a news conference today at the Texas White House and concentrating on improving America's trade surplus by $3 billion, he presented such proposals as a ban on new investments in Europe and an appeal to Americans to limit overseas travel. The president told newsmen he will ask Congress for legislation on the trade and tourism. And all Mr. Johnson announced five particular steps in hopes of saving the American Treasury $3 billion this year. One, Mr. Johnson wants to save $1 billion of a mandatory program to restrain direct investment abroad. This would take in all new direct investments in any developed nations not dependent on American money. Two, the president wants a $500 million agreement by Chairman William McChesney that the Federal Reserve Board will tighten foreign spending. Three, the chief executive proposed the saving of a half a billion dollars by limiting overseas travel by Americans. This to be put in the hands of congressional committees. Four, a saving of $500 million by cutting down on defense and foreign and expenditures in Europe. And five, Mr. Johnson wants the Defense Department to find ways to reduce dollar spending by American servicemen and their dependents in Europe. He also called for a reduction of American civilians working overseas. At least 111 infractions by the communists were reported during the 36-hour Allied ceasefire in Vietnam, which ends at 5 o'clock tonight, Eastern Standard Time. The Times of London says Washington should investigate reports that North Vietnam is easing conditions for peace talks. The wife of country western singer little Jimmy Dickens was killed today when the car in which she was riding plunged over an embankment near Sherman, Texas. A cold wave swept the nation as far south as Mississippi with an all 38 degrees reported at International Falls, Minnesota. After a deadline agreement, averting a New York City transit strike that would have affected about seven and one-half million workers, Pope Paul said in his New Year's Day message he hopes fair negotiations will end the war in Vietnam. Republican presidential hopeful Governor Romney of Michigan arrived in New Delhi for a look at India's agricultural program. Vice President Humphrey continued his African tour by being on hand in Liberia for the inauguration of President William Tubman. The mother of Australia's first quintuplets and the five youngsters are reported doing well in a Brisbane hospital. A spokesman for the International Telephone and Telegraph Corporation says plans to merge with the American Broadcasting Company have been called off. The reason? Long delays in federal approval of the merger. From the Cape Town, South Africa comes word that Dr. Christian Bonnard and his medical team may be preparing for another heart transplant. The report says Dr. Bonnard, who gave Louis Washansky a new heart last month, had rushed to a local hospital. Washansky died 18 days later of pneumonia, but the operation was considered a success. The Census Bureau estimates there were 2,165,000 more Americans around the Greek the New Year than were to welcome 1967. A spokesman estimates there were 200,271,231 Americans as of last midnight, with the number increasing by one every 14 seconds. And the United Press International count at 3 p.m. shows that 308 persons, 308 persons have been killed in traffic accidents since the holiday period started. The breakdown follows. As such, traffic 308, fires 49, planes 9, and miscellaneous 40. Flames weather for greater Washington, mostly sunny but cold, with the highest in the lower 30s today, fair and uh, cold, with a low of 15 to 20 degrees tonight, Tuesday cloudy with a chance of some snow, probability of precipitation 10% today, 30% tonight, and 40% Tuesday. Currently, metro area skies are clear. It's 23 degrees. For Wayne News, this is Johnny Rose. More fun, more music. With Johnny Rose. <laughs> Everyone from the current Wayne Lively lineup that's Julian the Skies, John Fred and his Playboy band. If you for square rooms, where would you be? Probably living in a round house. And those trains are murder on the rocks. And what about books? If they weren't square, how could you fold the edge and mark your place? It's a square world. Mario's Pizza House in Arlington faced up to it a long time ago. They studied the mouth, hundreds of mouths, and their unscientific findings disclosed that teeth are kind of square, the tongue, the whole mouth in general is sort of square. So they said to themselves, why fit round pizzas into square holes? Brilliant. 
And once you place that delicious square slice of Mario's Pizza House pizza in your mouth, you'll wonder how you've made it this far on round pizza. It fits. <laughs> and if the pizza fits, chew it. No matter what size your appetite, Mario's 20 cent slices of pizza satisfy hearty appetites. So drive your square car to Mario's Pizza House, 3322 Wilson Boulevard in Arlington, for the best slice of square pizza for miles around. Now, Mario's is open today. That's right, Mario's is open today from 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. Johnny Rose! Uh-huh. That's the top 100 for you. And as we said before, we'll be counting that top 100. At, uh, well, right now we're within that magic circle of about uh, 30 on down. And somewhere around 6 o'clock, 6.15, we'll have the top 10 for you right until number 1 before 7 o'clock. Right now, number 30. That's Peter Potomary doing that rock and roll music. Yeah, that's number 30 from the top 100 uh, this year in the 1967 countdown. And uh, we with Johnny Rogue. It's 12 minutes after 4 o'clock, 23 degrees. You don't have to be a millionaire to vacation like one. Enter Wilkins Coffee VIP Tour Sweepstakes and you may win one of four fabulous vacation trips. First prize is a 21-day European tour for two. Or you might win two weeks in exciting Mexico City, or a trip to Caracas, Venezuela, or Curaçao in the romantic Netherlands Antilles. You'll fly Pan American, the world's most experienced airline, and get VIP treatment all the way. You'll stay in luxury suites at world-famous intercontinental hotels. Lots more prizes, too. This sweepstakes is for greater Washington, Baltimore area residents only, so you have an excellent chance to win. Get free entry blanks at your supermarket. Nothing to buy. Offer closes February 16th, so enter the Wilkins Coffee VIP Tour Sweepstakes today. Void where prohibited. And now that we've had a cup of coffee, I think we can go on. Okay? W-E-A-N. Good to mention that's not for the wait. Number 29 from the top 100 of 1967. Happy birthday to Kevin Malloy today, all day. Yeah. <laughs> W-E-A-M's weather check. Go, go! Waves weather for greater Washington, mostly sunny but cold, with a high in the low 30s today. Fair and cold with a low of 15 to 20 degrees tonight. Tuesday, cloudy with a chance of some snow. Probability of precipitation, 10% today, 30% tonight, and 40% Tuesday. Right now, Waves temperature is 23 degrees. What number is this, Jim? 7A. The Monkees with Daydream Believer. That's number 10 from our current Weems. Lively lineup. It's 419 with Johnny Rogue. On a happy New Year's Day to you. Let me tell you. From our Wayne Community uh, Calendar, to assist the needy of all creeds and colors, the uh, Society of St. Vincent de Paul, a Catholic uh, parish welfare effort, has donations of usable items of furniture, clothing, and household appliances. For a pickup service, if you have these items uh, for pickup service, I want you to telephone 265-3367. That's 265-3367. Tuesday night, shut in. Anyone can afford to go to the rocket room when Mondays and Tuesday beverages are reduced to new low prices. Be in on the rocket room bonus night every Monday and Tuesday at Washington's top big band entertainment center with two bands lately. The rocket room, well, the New York Avenue Northwest. All right, 23 degrees. We've had a quite a number of requests uh, to uh, repeat some of the uh, the numbers from 100 on down. So some of you, I guess, are writing these down. Okay, we will do that, and we'll do that a little later. But we'll, we'll give you advance warning, so uh, if there's a number that uh, maybe you forgot or uh, you didn't hear, you'll have time to pick it up, okay? 1390 W-E-A-M. over with. Happy New Year from the Hot Shops. Thirty ninety, thirty ninety, thirty ninety, W E A. 